So it turns out that there's a lesson to because I got a little word so. Look at my studio! Huh? Come on, let's do some more glue. There are two back finish options for each token. One is to attach a simple ribbon hanger and the other is to make an easel stand which also has a hanging loop. Some easels will require one piece to be trimmed along the lower edge in order to match the banner lower edge. To do this, Place one of the easel pieces centered onto a grid-lined workspace, then place the banner shape centered over the easel. Trace and trim away the excess cardboard. The only token that does not need one of the easel pieces to be trimmed is the language of flowers and the melting shape design. There are three parts to the easel. One part sits against the banner back and it combines with a second piece to create the easel action. The third piece is a cleanup piece. Okay, let's laminate the easel parts in place onto the fabric. Don't forget to emboss. Leave a space of one quarter inch all around each part as a seam allowance and one of the easel pieces will need a one inch tab along one short edge. Now it's time to separate each part from the fabric and trim the excess fabric at corners and bottom shaped edge. Remember to leave one sixteenth of an inch of fabric at the corners. For one of the pieces, leave that one inch tab of fabric along one short edge and cut a one and a half inch by two and a half inch piece from the scraps to be used for cleanup. Let's finish off these easel edges now. Two of the pieces are finished along all four edges. The piece with the tab is finished along the two long edges and the one short edge without the tab. Roll the glue onto the edge of the cardboard as was done in Lesson 2A. Remember to tap the glue at the corners. Keep your hands clean and always flip and flatten. So this piece is going to go onto this piece, like that, and we want a, a slight gap. So I'm going to put the glue on here, go a little beyond, and then clean that edge up a little bit. Kind of a, they're adjoined. Have a little mess here. The most important thing is that the easel has to bend. So once you have um, those two parts put together, you want to give it a little bend so that it can operate. This part is going to be glued here. So you see that, that white um, edge? We have to cover that. So I take just a little, little piece, cut it down to size, and then we're going to glue that in place. I always try to extend the glue a little bit farther than is actually needed so that um, so that the piece gets 
is in place 100%. and then it has to bend again. Let's glue the third piece in place to complete the easel. I use a little bit different technique when I'm doing this sort of a process. I'll put a bead of glue down about a quarter of an inch in, and then a little bit in the middle. And then I'm going to pick that up, take my roller, and then feather the glue out to the edges. Just be careful. Make sure you keep your hands clean. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that edge off. Okay. Position it. To recap my laminating process, keep your hands clean, always flip and flatten, refrain from being gloopy with the glue, tap the fabric phrase at each corner, and go for a precise shapely finish. Let's make the corded hanger now. For a short loop, use 18 inches of embroidery floss or ribbon, silk ribbon, that is. Tape one end of the floss to your work surface, then twist it super tightly until it almost kinks up. Fold the twisted piece in half to match up the two ends. Remove the taped end and tie the ends together with a tight knot. For a longer hanger, use 27 inches of ribbon or floss. Now find the easel center along its top edge. Mark one quarter inch on either side of the center. Place a little bead of glue, then lay the cording onto the glue. Make a three quarter of an inch deep loop to form the hanger. And now let's just let this hanger set up a bit. Later, the easel is ready to be glued to the banner back. Let's say you don't want to make the easel, but prefer a simple hanger. In that case, you would just glue whatever you want to use to the banner back, forming a 5-inch deep loop. In the next lesson, I'll teach my pattern wrap process, embroidery transfer options, and how to prep the fabric ephemera.